In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best new sniping filters here in NBA 2K23, my team. I have a bunch of good filters here today, so make sure you do go ahead and stick around. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure that you guys do go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get into the first filter here. So for the first filter, we're going to go over here to the position and set it to power forward. Then we're going to go over to the theme and set it to invincible. So let's put it right here to invincible, and then we're going to go over here. And first of all, let me show you who's on this filter. You're going to be able to see Blake Griffin, Anthony Davis, Pau Gasol. Saw Giannis, um, and as we keep scrolling here, there is more cards. Um, Victor Wembanyama is going to be on here. Jabari Smith is on here, and Wemby is going to be a huge one as well. And basically, this filter is just going to be the power forward, invincible, cheapest filter. And this filter is so so good, and I'm going to show you exactly why in a second here. So first of all, let's go ahead and find the price of the cheapest invincible power forwards, which, as you can see, is somewhere in that forty to forty-five thousand MT range. Um, and as you can see here, yeah, it's around that forty to forty-five thousand MT range. And the thing that makes this filter so good, y'all, is the fact that, um, first of all, let me show you how to set it up. So you're going to want to go over here to the maximum bio and set it to probably about 38,000 MT. Um, and at 38K, any invincible power forward that you see is going to be guaranteed to make you profit. Um, so just go ahead and set it like that. But the reason why this filter is so good is, look, if you did this without the full power forward filter, there's too many cards. You wouldn't be able to snipe. But since you can set it to just power forward, nobody's really going to be on this filter and nobody's going to be able to see those cards because there's so many other random cards blocking them unless they're on the specific power forward filter, which means you're going to get a ton of snipes to yourself let's move into the next filter here it's going to be very similar this time it's going to be for the center position we're going to go center invincible and again this is going to be similar to the last one where you're going to see a lot of snipes that nobody else is going to be able to see unless they're on this specific filter here and as you can see the cheapest invincible centers are going for about 50 to 55 thousand mt ish um and that's going to include guys like Assault, Mark Assault, and uh, Boogie Cousins. And they're selling at about 50 to 53, 54K ish. Um, so to go ahead and guarantee yourself some profit on this filter, just set the maximum buyout down here to about 45,000 MT. And at 45,000 MT and lower, any invincible center that you see is guaranteed to make you profit. And there is going to be a ton of different invincible centers on this filter. And let me go ahead and show you guys some of those cards. For example, you can see Mark Assault, Kristaps Porzingis, Shaq. Back. Um, and then you're going to be able to see Kareem as well on this filter and some more cards. But let's move into the next filter, which is a very, very consistent one. So for this next filter here, you're going to go over here to the theme and you're going to set it to Invincible. Um, and this time we're going to be doing Invincible Cheapest, which is a very, very uh, fil a filter you have to be very careful with because a lot of people don't set it up correctly. So first of all, you find the cheapest Invincible card, which is usually going to be that Drazen Petrovic card. And he'll sell for about 24,000 MT. Um, and somewhere around that range, range is where he's going to sell. As you can see at 24K, there is the Drazen Petrovic. So there's two different ways you can set up this filter. One of them is going to be by keeping it here at 24K and just scrolling and trying to get any Drazen Petrovic you see or trying to get any card besides Petrovic. Um, and if you put it down to 20K, that will include Petrovic as well. Meaning that on this 20K filter, if you snipe anything, including Petrovic, it's guaranteed to make you profit. Um, obviously, Petrovic will make you the least amount, but he still will make Make you profit and any other card will make you much much more profit depending on who it is but with that being said let's go ahead go ahead here and move into another very consistent and good filter that i have been using man so it's just going to be the dark matter cheapest filter which a lot of people haven't been setting up recently correctly because it did change again as you can see they're selling at about 38 to 38 50 mt so to guarantee yourself a good amount of profit put the max buy out on 3000 mt um and at 3000 mt and cheaper any dark matter you see is guaranteed to make you profit that you can see end games you can see invincibles you can see any dark matter in the game just make sure to go ahead and sit on this filter for a while and uh go ahead and snipe any card you see check the price of whatever card you get and make sure you sell it for the correct price um to go ahead and guarantee yourself as much profit as possible but let's move into the next filter boys the next filter here you're going to go over to the theme and put it on end game and let me show you which cards are and are not snipes Dwayne wade is not a snipe jr smith is not a snipe jimmy butler i think is a snipe but don't take my word on that uh will chamberlain is definitely a snipe kevin durant is a snipe uh jason tatum is a snipe uh as we keep going down the line here luka Doncic is a snipe uh tim duncan is a snipe paolo bancaro is not a snipe paul george is a snipe um and as we keep going here bobo of course is a snipe 
um and we'll keep going larry bird is a snipe i think but be careful with it kobe bryant is definitely a snipe um and again paolo bancaro is not kareem is a snipe for sure like i said tim duncan's a snipe too and that's what you're going to see as you can see the jr is going for a little over 100 but he's going to go down in price i'd be careful and just not snipe him so don't snipe the cards that i told you guys to not snipe and snipe the cards that i did tell you to snipe and you'll be perfectly fine if you go ahead and listen to what i said right there so make sure to just not snipe the dwayne wade the jr smith and the paolo bancaro and be careful on cards like jimmy butler and uh larry bird as well because i'm not too certain on those ones but all the other ones are fair game to make you tons of profit um so make sure to go ahead and use that end game filter obviously by just setting the minimum buyout to 500 mt but let's go ahead and move into the next filter y'all so for the next filter here man uh you're gonna go over here to the name and you're gonna send it to Wembenyama. uh but this isn't gonna be for the filter first of all i just want to show you something that you can do um first of all this is well, hold on let me back out of here and put it to invincible I want to show you why this filter is so good. So as you can see, the Wembenyama is going to be a power forward invincible card, of course, and the power forward is a primary position. So we're going to be trying to focus on sniping him on this filter. It's going to be tough, but it is possible. You're going to go power forward. You're going to go over here to the theme and set it to invincible. And then you're going to go over here to the minimum bid and set it to 100,000 MT. And then you're going to go over to the maximum buyout and set it to 500. But first of all, as you can see, you can snipe Giannis and you can snipe... Um, uh, Victor Wembanyama on this filter and those two are the ones that will make you profit so just set it to 500 buyout um, and as you can see here you're just gonna have to scroll down to the end to that four hour mark and any cards you see on this filter are no not any card you see if you see Giannis or Wembanyama on this filter they're guaranteed to make you profit it's basically the Wembanyama invincible filter but you can also see Giannis so there's more snipes available on this filter meaning more chances for you to go ahead and make some profit very good filter go ahead and try it out um, and as you can see here, I was trying out this, um, and this doesn't make sense, but if you set it to dark matter, there is a chance you can scroll all the way to the end here and see not only the invincibles, but also the end games as well. But I don't think it's worth it. I think the scroll is a little too far for it to be worth it. Unless you want to enable out the cards, then it wouldn't be too bad. But as you can see, if you were to do that, you could see cards like Tim Duncan, Bobo as well. Um, and that's basically it in the Dirk Nowitzki too. But if you guys did make this far into the video, leave a comment saying the word Bobo and I will like and reply to every single comment that says Bobo. So I know who the loyals are that made it to the end of the video as usual. So again, guys, if you did make it this far into the video, comment the word Bobo and I will like and reply to every single comment that does say that. I want to know who the OGs are that make it to the end of the video. So I appreciate everybody that did make it this far. Comment Bobo if you did and I will like and reply to your comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check and make sure that you guys are subbed up. Make sure you are subscribed and check and make sure that you hit that like, like button as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be popping out with more videos tomorrow as usual. And yeah, man. Go ahead and use these filters while they're hot. And I'm out of here, boys. Have a good one. Peace out, man.